The insane K2 mountain climbing story about Wilko van Rulgen. We will travel through the frigid risk of K2, the world's second most noteworthy top, with, in all honesty, prepared mountain dweller Wilko van Rulgen. Prepare to find a story that will leave you as eager and anxious as can be as we unload how one man confronted the unforgiving components, exploring misfortune and enduring when disappointments appear to be inevitable. Wilco von Ruschen, who was 40 years of age at that point, drove an unsafe move up the hazardous K2 mountain in May 2008 with six different explorers. Considering that was on the boundary among China and Pakistan, this was not an ordinary trip. They were joined by a gathering of courageous swashbucklers whose objective was to arrive at the top without getting injured. They had no clue that the excursion they were going to take would transform into a frightening battle for their lives. Despite the fact that there were a couple of issues en route, the beginning of the 14-day climb went easily. They dealt with the issues directly and endeavored to move beyond them. Eventually, they came to the highest point of the mountain. Yet Destiny had a terrible shot coming for them that evening, and it set off a misfortune that would influence individuals for quite a long time. This is a tale about the K2 fiasco that occurred in 2008. Since he was a young man, Wilko von Rusjen had a profound requirement for fervor and an inclination for difficult work. At the point when he was a youngster, he and his folks would frequently go climbing in the delightful Alps and he would feel overwhelmed by the tall slopes surrounding him. His young heart was loaded up with a powerful urge to wrap up, getting over those mountains. At the point when he was 16 years of age, he got over a mountain very interestingly. Wilco's new interest in climbing drove him to pursue all that he could and get all he could get his hands on about moving from bunches to ropes. Despite the fact that he realized there were chances, his longing to ascend mountains developed with each new pinnacle he came to and dominated. Then again, his folks pushed him hard to get a well-rounded schooling, which is most mindful guardian specialty. Wilco decided to study designing despite the fact that he would have rather not been similar to his dad. Wilco concluded that getting over the mountains was his actual calling after he completed his tutoring. He went out traveling all over the planet, got over mountains, and informed individuals regarding what he did in light of the fact that not entirely set in stone to arrive at his objective. He before long found out, however, that individuals were more keen on miserable stories. This acknowledgement, alongside the way that his costly side interest was overburdening his assets, drove him and his accomplice to fire repairing houses and trying sincerely so he could do what he cherished. When he was in his late 30s, Wilco had gotten over a large portion of the world's most noteworthy mountains. He was the main individual to go toward the North Pole, the South Pole, and the highest point of Mount Everest. He at long last turned into an incredibly popular narrator whose accounts of his trying experiences held individuals' consideration. However, he had a unique love for one mountaintop specifically, K2. Mount K2 used to be the second most elevated slope on the planet. It is on the boundary among China and Pakistan. In this spot, since it is 8,611 meters above sea level, there have been 305 individuals who have had the option to arrive at the highest point of this extreme impediment. Somewhere around 75 individuals had kicked the bucket in this work, which was miserable. Wilco continued to attempt to arrive at his objective, despite the fact that he had flopped in 1995 and 2006. In 2008, Wilco and his team of six set out traveling to compensate for their missteps part of the way during that time in May. He left his better half and their seven-month-old child behind so he could make the hard outing to Mount K2. As he drew nearer to the trip, he had been hanging tight for such a long time that he began to feel energized. Notwithstanding, the issues were a great deal more regrettable than he recalled. The trip was hard, particularly since it got colder as they went up. The group and a few different voyagers, similar to a lovebird couple and a blissful Irishman, needed to manage the risky circumstances. Before they hit the midpoint, one climber surrendered, which was a sobering indication of the perils that lay ahead. Then something awful occurred. At the midpoint, a climber from Serbia was giving ropes to another colleague when he lost his equilibrium and tumbled to his demise. Wilco made a good attempt to find and bring back the Serbian, however, he will never be found from this point forward. Following a couple of moments, the Serbian's worker had exactly the same thing happen to him. The gathering stopped as they attempted to sort out how awful the circumstance was. The gathering continued not entirely settled to take full advantage of their opportunity. They continued to ascend the mountain again and again until they came to the top. 
Wilco at long last had a success as of now in their profession, subsequent to losing two times before. By taking photos of the wonderful environmental factors, he monitored everything he had done and said to his child that he trusted it would motivate him. Wilco then again would need to pursue a hard decision. Most climbers concluded that the best thing to do, given the risks ahead, was to return down to Camp 4 around the same time. Yet Wilco and four other colleagues chose to wait for some time longer. They had no clue about their decision and how it would place them in such a perilous circumstance, yet it did. They couldn't get out as a result of a torrential slide, which likewise cut their lines and caught them. Since they were chopped off starting from the way, they were in a risky position. Wilco felt wiped out to his stomach when he comprehended how awful their circumstance was. They were trapped in a climate that was difficult to foresee and had no real way to find support from the rest of the world, so they prepared to battle against the force of nature. Wilco realized he was in a test of skill and endurance and needed to drop rapidly to get down from the hazardous top and through the risky passing zone. The territory was perilous and the way there were no ropes exasperated the dangers. Yet he continued to go in light of the fact that he cherished his significant other and their young child, and his psyche was continuously going over photos of his loved ones. Wilco battled to remain alive on top of the hazardous mountain as the days transformed into evenings and the evenings back into days. He set up with the freezing cold, the absence of food, and the way that he could bite the dust out of the blue. He continued onward, forward with affection and drive fulfilling his resolution, wanting to track down his group at Camp 4. Wilco was at long last ready to arrive at Camp 4 after a hard battle. There he figured out the main two of his companions had endured the difficulty without passing away. The alleviation on their countenance was clear as they embraced him. Despite the fact that it was a blissful time, it was likewise miserable on the grounds that 11 courageous climbers had died in the mishap. Half a month after the fact, while remaining in a house in Holland, Wilco recounted his story to the remainder of the world. His record of the misfortune that occurred on K2 in 2008 showed how risky hiking can be and the way in which solid the human soul can be. Despite the fact that he lost two toes to frostbite, Wilco was more joyful and more dynamic after the occasion than ever before. So, once more, will Wilco at any point climb or will what occurred on K2 train him to esteem his family more than something else? No unmistakable response can be given. One thing is sure, individuals will be motivated by his astonishing outing to foster a feeling of marvel and never lose their feeling of experience. We're happy you've been staying aware of this story so far. In the event that you preferred what you saw, please click like and offer your thoughts in the comments below. Make certain to buy in and turn on the notification bell on your gadget so you can really see some more fascinating material like this. Until next time, thanks for watching.